Hello everyone, Elron here with part 7 of my Minecraft 1, 2, 3. Oh, yeah. I kind of just realized something funny. Um, so, Elron is now rocking 1080p. And what does he do to celebrate? Plays Minecraft. Yeah, go figure. Um, I've uh, upgraded to uh, 1080p capabilities um, and I'm now um, recording and rendering as 1080 instead of um, 720 um, and funny enough I'm playing a game that doesn't need it um, for YouTube purposes. Um, I I'm certainly enjoying the upgrade in other aspects, um, you know, with uh, games that I'm not YouTubing, but uh, I guess that doesn't really benefit you much. Um, in any case, looks like we are almost done with this pig pen. Um, the end goal is going to be to have a nice little ladder and a trapdoor system because, um, oddly enough, um, animals seem to have the capacity to climb ladders. Don't ask me how or why, but for whatever reason, um, I've seen sheep climb up ladders trying to get hay out of my hand, or wheat out of my hand, rather. Um, so, I guess I don't need to do the infrastructure of the ladder right now because of the fact that I don't have any wheat, so I have no reason to go down there, because those... Those pigs are my stock pigs. Um, they're my golden geese. If I kill them, then I won't get uh, to breed them, and I won't have an army of them. But now this guy, on the other hand, I'm going to toss him in. Come on. Get down there. And I think when he refuses, I just call him. Which is a bloody shame, too, because after I um, get some hay, I try to uh, basically have the third one try to breed with one of the two that already bred, and he didn't really want to have anything to do with it, and I'm not going to let a pig wank um, and not pay for it, so I ended up just killing him. I think there's some biblical justice in there, like, you know, you know he who don't uh, bear fruit shall um, be set to fire, something along those lines, and, um, well, after I, kick, after I killed him, I took the pork and uh, cooked it with fire. So there is that. Okay, so now I'm going to make a sheep pit which is going to have a very similar design to that of the pig pen. Although I think at some point I do get paranoid and make this one be a fourth layer deep. But now I've got hay, so I've got a tactical advantage and I can make these guys sucker down. So that was a bit of a um, bit of a plot twist there. Um, having there be a hole there, uh, but we can work around it, and we'll have to actually work around it a second time once I decide to deepen the pit. Um, but for now, we're just going to be happy with those two sheep there, and um, now they're not going to make zebra uh, wool out of that in case you were wondering. Alright, what 
what am I doing now? Ah, yes. I decide I want to gather a bunch more seeds and use up the unused um, farmland real estate because I have empty slots. And empty slots are not producing us any wheat. And so we need to fix that. Although, looks like it's becoming night, so we gotta make our way back home. Alright. So, now we reorganize a bit, and we prepare for nighttime mode. And... Not sure if I gave myself enough tools or not, but I guess I've got the technology and the workbench down here to uh, produce more tools um, without being up in base, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so we lit this place up last time we were down, and ooh, we got some iron. That's going to be helpful. Uh, we could always use more iron. And... Even when we have an obscene amount of iron, we'll always have a use for more, um, because we could become lazy and make ourselves mine carts that um, will get us to point B. And mine carts um, require mine rails, and to rail yourself long distances, you're going to need an obscene amount of iron. So, no matter how much iron we get, we'll always figure out something useful to do with it. Uh, but, for now, um, we'll just take it as it comes. And, um, put every last scrap to good use. Um, except for the ones that we lose due to deaths in lava. Those, um, those will just be mourned. And so we remind ourselves some more coal, and explore some more of this, um, uh, cave system, or cavern system, uh, and looks like I missed some coal on this end, so we're gonna go and clean that up. And where did that skeleton come from? I mean, I guess there is some darkness over yonder a bit. They could have come from, but... It makes me paranoid, so I uh, go over and light it up. And... Looks like he didn't have too much room to uh, spawn from. Uh, but I will um, take advantage of this uh, iron here and uh, mine it while it's here. Yeah, since um, since the earth was kind enough to just uh, let it sit there, laying there, waiting for someone to grab it. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a rabbit hole. And I think I weigh my options, and I decide to jump into this one. And then... Got ourselves a zombie, so it's gonna kill him. And luckily, combat down here has been pretty manageable. We haven't had any... Um, Creepers yet, so that's always a blessing, because creepers down here are pretty scary, because they'll sneak up on you when you don't expect it, and all kinds of craziness, and so we've got a nice, big, deep, dark chasm, and I'm not going to have anything to do with that, and that's going to be it for this video. I will see you next video.